Hi, I'm Beck G. I'm a designer here at LPD. I've been lucky enough to work on the Made Collection, which is great because I love abstract style and having the minimal palette they use really makes you think about what tools you're going to use and how you're going to use your equipment in a really clever way because you're only often working with like maybe two or three or four colours. So it's been a great challenge as a designer. So because when we're painting for Made, we only use two or three or four colours, you've really got to think about making your marks as effective as possible. And as Becky May was saying, you know, it's very abstract. So it's really nice when you use your brushes, you can think about holding your brush in a different way. So normally people sort of paint like this, but then you can think about using it on the side, just a little mark making exercise like this, and just see what the brush does for you, which is nice. Sometimes it's actually what the brush is doing for you that makes the nicest mark. And often when I'm painting, Becky May will come over and I often do the, um, just to test my colours, I just do little blobs of colour around the edge of the artwork. And often Becky May will come up and go, oh, can we make that into made? Because it's all those little incidental, quick mark making that have that lovely energy about them that perhaps gets lost when you spend too long on a piece. So again, with the markers, we're lucky enough to have all these great double-ended markers. So you've got the blunt end, which again, you could just do a really nice little dot like that. Or then you can get the other end, we can do some little squiggles in there. And it's just thinking again if you hold the pen on the side you can get a flowing line or if you really want to do intense you get that nice kind of a texture there so yeah it's thinking about just how you can use your tools in a really effective way and maximizing the pattern with only using a few colors and then you can even go to your regular brushes and again it's just how you hold them so traditionally we might paint like this but you can hold it at the end you can sort of let it fling around the paper a bit and just see what little marks get made out of it there you go. I hope that helps.